Of all the stories in Hollywood, there's not another one like Will Smith's. At age 39, he has already had three successful careers. Grammy Award-winning rapper, sitcom sensation, and finally one of the biggest movie stars on the planet. With two Oscar nominations and almost four and a half billion dollars in box office to his credit, a movie starring Will Smith is about as close as you can get to having a sure thing, whether it's science fiction, romantic comedy, or a summer blockbuster. There's an ease and enthusiasm about him that transcends race and cultural boundaries, and it's one of the reasons so many people like him. What do you think your appeal is? I love living. I think that's infectious. It's something that you can't fake. And I think that the camera can feel that I'm happy doing what I do. And it's something that gets in, inside of me. I've, I've never really viewed myself as particularly talented. I've viewed myself as, you know, slightly above average in talent. And where I excel is ridiculous, sickening work ethic. You know, while the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. While the other guy's eating, I'm working. You can look at the, the first six episodes of the, the Fresh Prince, and I was so just hell-bent on not failing that I memorized the entire script. And you can see in certain shots, they tried to cut around it as much as they can, but I am mouthing the other actors' lines. If you don't believe him, watch the scene with a young Don Cheadle. But keep your eyes on Smith. She was so ugly that Freddy Krueger used to have nightmares about her. <laughs> it took six episodes for, for someone to tell me to stop doing it. So then the, the next six episodes look like, oh, come on, Uncle Phil. <laughs> I'm serious, man. Stop playing. This was uh, my father's shop. One summer, his dad tore down a brick wall on the front of his business and told 12-year-old Will and his 9-year-old brother to rebuild it, a job they said was impossible. It took them a year and a half, but they did it. And he said, now don't you ever tell me it's something that you can't do. And walked right through that door and went inside. And me and my brother stood here and looked. And we said, Daddy, crazy as hell, ain't he? <laughs> the wall is still there, and so is the lesson he learned from building it. I just put my head down and laid the first brick. 